this tech tip, we'll look at how you create a custom coordinate system. And then after you add this, how do you save the model using this new coordinate system rather than the default one? So whenever you start modeling, SolidWorks has this origin here, placed at the intersection of the front, top, and right planes. But when you want to add your own coordinate system at a different location to be used for things like exporting the model, 3D printing, or even just to have a reference for running simulations, you need to choose the option from Insert, and then Reference Geometry, and then Coordinate System. From there, you simply pick the point or vertex that you want to serve as the location for this new coordinate system. And then you have the ability to define the orientation to get this just the way you want it. For this example, I want the z-axis to line up with this vertical edge here. I can flip the direction to get it oriented just the way I want. And let's put the y-axis along this edge here. So for that example, we got lucky because there was a vertex already at the exact location where we wanted this system to be. But sometimes you won't get that lucky, and you'll have to first add a point before you can add the custom coordinate system. This can be either a sketch point placed in a new sketch, or you can add it using reference geometry like this. Again, from insert and then reference geometry, but this time choosing point. And let's use the option center of face so that we can place this point right at the center of this flat face here. And then from there, I can add the coordinate system that will be located at this point, right in the center of this face. So again, following the same workflow from earlier, clicking Reference Geometry and then Coordinate System, choosing the point for the location of this new one, and then playing around with the orientation to get it situated the way we want it. So now that we have these two coordinate systems, these can be used for things like simulation, but also for exporting this model, which will be located at this new coordinate system. So for this case, let's save this out as a parasolid. And the trick here is to click on the Options button before you click Save. From these options, you have the ability to pick any of the coordinate systems that are found in your model. So rather than using the default one, we'll pick the coordinate system that is centered on that flat face. And now, whenever this file is open, it's going to be oriented about this custom coordinate system, as you can see here.